Baruch Hashem, we are enjoying a nice weather today. Yasun Shei Gambar, it's Gishmei Bracha, Bezrat Hashem. So, the world is waiting, the month of Nisan is coming, Monday night, the month of redemption, the month of Geulat Aprat Ve'achlal. As we say, the Gemara says, Ve'nisan igalu, ve'nisan atidim le'igayel. It means, the redemption was on Passover, and without Hashem, the ultimate redemption in time of the Mashiach is Nisan too. So it's a very powerful month. Not just for the entire Am Israel, each of us in his personal... Somebody's Mashiach is to pay the rent on time. It's not, it's not important, but it's, for him it's very important. Somebody wants to pass the exam, somebody wants to find a job. So everybody in his own, his own Geulah Bezrat Hashem. Mosei Shabbat of Shabbat HaChodesh, <coughs> two days before Rosh Chodesh, Nisan, and the month of Nisan, and the Shabbat HaGadol, and Pesach, there is one thing in common, which is called Eliyahu Navi. <laughs> Eliyahu Navi, the prophet that is going to come <coughs> before the Mashiach, and fix the entire world and prepare him for the Mashiach. <coughs> there is a Bukharian old custom that in every Motzei Shabbat, Saturday night, to say 130 times Eliyahu Navi. Say it's gula for a lot of parnasa. We Roma especially those who selling fruits and vegetables. It's, uh... So. Uh... <coughs> They, uh, in the Torah, we have five books. How many books we have in the entire Tanakh? Who knows? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Very nice. What is the last, last, bo the last book of the prophets? When the prophets, the prophecy finished for Mam Israel. The prophet, his name is Malachi. <clears throat> there is a big debate who was Malachi, there are all kinds of opinions, but the, the, the understanding about the, the rabbis is Malachi was the last prophet who made the prophecy on Am Israel, and with him, this is the last statement that we go straight to Makadosh Baruch Hu. Afterward, we start to try to use our human, human mind, and then all the problems start usually, but this is another issue. <clears throat> The last pasuk in the last book of prophecy of Judaism that happened 2300 years ago was the pasuk, Hine Anochi Sholeach Lachem et Eliyah. Sorry, it's say Ilya, maybe it was a Russian, I don't know what to say. Eliyah, Anavi Zachur Latov, Lifne Boyo Mashem Agadol Vanora. So before the Mashiach will come, Eliyahu Navi has to come and tell us, Mashiach is here. And the prophecy is telling us what, the Mashi what Eliyahu Navi has to do as an essential step before the Mashiach will come. And he says the following, In Hebrew, it's very difficult. What does it mean to hashiv lev? Just uh, <coughs> a translation will say to return to return the hearts to be together. It means there is a certain of certain of uh, gap or separation, and Eliyahu Navi is coming to make things better or do we say in the modern English, to restore relationship. Rashi says on the spot, father on son and son on father. He says, Rashi, al yedei banim yomar levanim derech ahava veratzon, lechi vidibru el avotechem, lechoz bedarkei hamakom, vechen levanim al avotam, כך שמעתי משמו של רבי מנחם ורבי דוד במסכת עדויות לסום שלום בעולם. 
Rashi says, <laughs> Eliyahu is going to speak to the children and to the parents. And he's going to bring them back together. But I don't understand what he has to tell them. What, what, is, what is the message? <coughs> the Mitzudah David on the... the message, we don't need to know What? If we follow the message, we don't need to know what Let's bring the Mashiach now. Why do you have to... Uh, yeah. Try to think. It helps. <laughs> no, okay. If we know the message, we'll bring Mashiach yesterday. Maybe Hashem wants for us to wait for this message? I, heard, I saw in the Mitzudah David an interesting explanation. He goes to a totally different direction. But just for the interest point, I'll tell you what is the message, what Eliyahu and Navi is going really to make. And he says like this. In Anochi Sholeach, Chatzal Omar, he wants to tell us that because Torah, and because of the merit of the Torah, I'm going to send you Eliyahu and Navi before the day of the Mashiach. So Eliyahu and Navi is the preparation time. Very good. Ve'eshiv, הוא ישיב לב אבות על המקום, למקום על ידי הבנים, why? כי תחיית המתים יהיה על ידו. אליהו הנביא is going to take all the dead people and bring them back. אליהו הנביא. אליהו dead come back. כמו שכתוב רז"ל, and ושיחיו, when Ewad is going to wake up. You are going to meet your grandparents and grand-grandparents and grand-grand-grand-grand-grand. They are going to speak to each other. And a lot of questions are going to be answered. And you are going to understand the yesh. V'yashiv lev banim alav otam. Al yedei sh'omdim b'tchayat ha-metim yisapru levneim amitat ha-gmul v'zei yashiv otam l'ashem. Suddenly, Omer HaMitzulot, you know what will happen? Eliyahu Anavi will say, Avraham Avinu, please come. And you know what happened in Roma? We're going to see Avraham Avinu, Yitzchak, Yaakov, Shem. We're going to see Adam Arishon. And he will tell you a few missing information. Then you're going to see Rabbi Tarfon and Rabbi Akiva. You're going to see your grand grandfather. And you're going to see that everything is one. You're going to see this. So it's going to be so good time that everybody is going to come back to its place. But we are all now in the same place. We are all in the same place. You are going to feel yourself. You are going to have questions. You are going to answer. You are going to see your grandfather from a thousand years ago. And, uh, and then, and then this, this link is going to link today us straight to Adam Arishon. Adam Arishon and Chava created from Hashem. Then you see what happened, then it became one. Then the Mashiach can come. Kach Omer HaMetsudot. Michael asked about Gilgulei Neshamot, who will come, who will, it is politics already, but, <laughs> but. One of the rabbis, Mitzudah David, on the, on the Torah, he explained that this is the meaning of Yeshiv Lev Avot. Because he said, what can you tell him to somebody, to the father, father and son? We have in our synagogue, father and son, we give them pizza to make Avodah. But what is, the, what is the message, father and son, that can make the Mashiach to come? So, it's very interesting direction, but with your permission, I'll go to other, because this direction is very simple, so uh, you don't have to worry about the Mashiach, Yilgul Neshamot, Kulan Kamim, and Gemara Sepur. I think it has to go, I believe that this Pasuk has to come to us, because the, um, the Gemara is using this, and the Rambam is using this to learn Halakha Lemaaseh. And Halakha we have to keep today. And you have to learn how to prepare this to make the Halakha today. The Gemara, in, there is a very interesting Masechet, as it's called in the Torah, Masechet Eduyot. It's, it's a Gemara that there is, doesn't have a lot of discussion between the rabbis because it's not basically, it's, it's testimonies that the rabbis gave about things that, that they heard 
And because nobody can argue about it, so there is no, no Gemara on this. It's just a duyot. It's a pure Mishnah from one to the father to his son, all kind of testimonies. The rabbis, the big rabbis, about in the time of the history, what did they learn, what did they bring to the next generation. And in the eighth chapter, in the last halacha, Amar Rabbi Yoshua, Rabbi Yoshua ben Hananiah, he says the follow. Amar Rabbi Yoshua, Mekubalani, I got this halacha from Rabban Yochanan ben Zakai, that he was the rabbi in the time of the destruction of the second temple. He was the rabbi, he was a student of Hillel Zaken, the rabbi of Rabbi Eliezer Gadol, then Rabbi Akiva. And he learned it from his rabbi, and his rabbi from his rabbi, Alacha le Moshe Misinai. From Moshe Rabbeinu, they heard it. What is the halacha? Sheeliyahu is going to come. He is not going to make something tameh or something tahor or something to make a person you are not a Jew and you are a Jew. Ela lerachek hamekuravim bizroa lekavim morachim bizroa. He is going just to somebody who was forced to be a Jew and is not a Jew. You tell him you are not a Jew. And forcefully, somebody took a Jew and put him out, they're going to bring him back to Am Israel. Rabbi Shimon Omer, Rabbi Uda Omer, no. He's going to lekarev, lo lerachek. Whoever is a Jew, you are a Jew. If somebody wants to become, he's going to help them. Rabbi Shimon Omer, leashvot ha-machloket. All of us, when we learn Gemara, there is a question, we don't know the answer. Mala horim tiko. What is Tiko? Tishbi, Eliyahu Anavi, Tishbi, Yetaretz is going to solve Kushiyot ve'ibayot. All the questions of the Gemara. Eliyahu will come and tell him, what is the halacha? Tell me, what is the machloket over here? There, Eliyahu. And Chachamim says, with all the respect, Eliyahu Anavi will not come, not to make somebody a Jew or not a Jew. Ela la'asot shalom b'nehim. Eliyahu Anavi is going to use a different tool. He's going to bring peace between all the people of the world. Sheneemar, Hine Anochi Sholeach Lachem et Eliyahu Anavi. He learned from this pasuk, Ve'ishiv lev avot al banim ve'lev banim al avotam. Which means, Eliyahu Anavi will come to do what? To make peace. Ah, oh, you go. You go very deep in your. <laughs> in your business, you have to make the. to go to the meat to make it nice, cook, so it's good. This we're talking about Mashiach Ben Yosef. It's not something that has to happen. That's why I'm answering uh, Aaron. We don't have to wait for the world to go to catastrophe, then to say, Hashem, help us. There are other ways. So, Mashiach ben, Mashiach ben Yosef to come and to be killed, it's something that it's our minus create is present, but we can do without him too. Hopefully. <coughs> Huh? <laughs> Why not? 99. The Rambam, when he goes about this halacha, he writes halacha lemaase bilchot melachim. This is the way Rambam understands the Gemara, and this is what they bring halacha lemaase. Amru Chachamim, our sages told us, what's the different, the only different between the Mashiach time and our time? Is going to be shiabud malchuyot bilvad, meaning Jewish people and people that are close to HaKadosh Baruch Hu will not suffer from anti-Semitism, from hatred, from race, race, race and crime, based on race. Ireh in Pshutam shel Divrei Nevim shebetchilat yamao Mashiach tiyeh melechemet Gog Magog. Mekodim Gog Magog yavon avi li Israel to prepare them. Shenemar Eliyahu anavi, nachoy shalachem et Eliyahu anavi. So the Eliyahu Anavi come before the Mashiach, the Rambam makes halakha lemaase. Ve'inoba, Eliyahu Anavi will come, lo letame, not to make people not pure. Lo letame atahor ve'lo letayer atame. 
ולא לפסול אנשים שבחזקת כשרות. He's a Jew, he's a Jew. I don't tell him, you know, your grand, 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 grand mother wasn't a Jew. He will not remember. ולא להכשיר מי שיוחזק בפסולין. If somebody is out, he's out. אלא לשום שלום בעולם. To make peace in the world. To enhance peace in the world. I don't understand. I want, when you, learn, when you teach halacha, it has to be um, certain guidelines. What does it mean to make peace in the world? How? Be quiet. Take the abuse. What does it mean to make, to make peace in the world? <coughs> No, no problem. You're right. But the question is different. Omer Rambam, as the Gemara says, it has Eliyahu Navi is going to do something to bring peace to the world. How? How? What? What? He's going to reveal the truth. What? He's going to be revealing the truth. So. Very dangerous. People start saying the truth, I start to go crazy. <laughs> Man, keep it down, keep it down. Through that, they're all going to, there will be peace because. Truth bring peace. <laughs> they all see the light, meaning that they're all. Light, light is different, truth is different. You know, when Hashem is telling, taking to, telling to Avram about Sarah, when Sarah heard she's going to have a baby, she say, I am old, my husband is old. And Hashem is telling to Avram, he's telling why Sarah says that she is old. So the Gemara says, why Hashem doesn't tell him the whole... Shalom Bayit, he don't say all the truth all the time. <laughs> According to you, he's going to say that first belief is going to be over there. <laughs> World War II, Gogu Magog, he's going to be Gogu Magog. But maybe you're right, but in, uh, we have to understand what, what, what she said, because I think all of you say wonderful thing, and all of you say basically the right thing. But let's, uh, make them, let's uh, bring it together. <coughs> so, Rashi says, Derech Ahava is going to teach us to love each other. It's very important. The Mitzvah say, by all the people are going to wake up and tell you about the past and the present, and people are going to be very happy. But uh, in the Haggadah, they go to a direction, Katu V'higata Libincha. We're talking about four children. <coughs> four kind of children. Ben, Begimatra Zeliyahu. But this will be later to uh, give you something you know. Come and give me a but let's listen. We got a libincha. Tell to speak to your child at least once a year. And Allah said, "My wife said communication, and let's 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 elaborate, elaborate explore this." We look, all of us, at the children. <coughs> we want the children to progress more than their parents. We built the civilization, and we are very happy that if my, uh, in the Gemara, they were arguing about a donkey, today we're arguing about cars. Enjoy car, cars <laughs> Maybe the same words, but, they, but we're happy that today we don't have to use the services of, of average donkeys and horses. We have cars. We are happy that we have trains and airplanes and spaceships. And we are very happy today that we have cell phones and we have access to information and to computers. And if somebody will tell me, I want to live like my ancestor lived, <coughs> I will tell him why. Enjoy what you have now. You want to go to Israel, take an airplane, be there in 10 hours. Why have to go through, you know, to a boat and take three weeks and, and five weeks, who knows? And uh, today, Baruch Hashem, the 
we're using all kinds of medication and procedures that prolong people's life 70, 80, 90, 100 years, and thank God. Why should I? Why? What is the. the we, I want to say that we promote the children to go ahead of their parents. And we are very happy about it. I want my children to be more successful than me and more educated than me, then I feel I'm gaining something. But when, when you start to go up, to grow up, um, we should not forget one thing. <coughs> that one thing you cannot, you don't have to change. And you mustn't change. Don't use it as a tool to run away from yourself, from your family, and from God. Be successful, fly all over the world, but don't forget that the essence is still the same. <clears throat> it's you, Hashem, your family, the world. This I don't want to go, that you go away. Progress is one thing, but using it as a tool to run away is another thing. And I will explain. After 1600 years from the creation of the world, became a very nice generation. They, they became specialists in developing all kind of construction projects. Beautiful. Instead of small, small haze or small uh, places to live, like you know, tents, they were able to build buildings and towers. What did they say? Let's build a tower that is going to be very tall and very high. But what is the purpose? To fight Hashem. To fight Hashem. <laughs> they took the gifts of God, the modernization and the progress of the civilization, but not to make themselves closer to Hashem. They want to use it as a tool against Hashem. What was the, uh, what was the uh, punishment of them? Remember? Separate, Separate them. Dora Pelaga, it's called. This separation has to be reunited by Eliyahu Navi to prepare the world to the next level of redemption of Mashiach. So Eliyahu Navi is coming now to reconnect all these gaps that happened so many years by people using the gift of God against God. Huh? Because in order to bring the Mashiach, it has to be Vaya Adonai Lemelch al Kol Aretz Bayem Oye Adonai Echad Ushmo Echad. It has to be one. <coughs> now, you will tell me, so what Eliyahu is going to do? How we can do it? There is a beautiful Ramban on Parashat Bechukotai. And he talks again, he says, What is the meaning? Venatati shalom ba'aretz, ushavtem ven macharit, vishbati chayam in aretz. He says, What is the meaning to bring peace in the world? And you're going to be peaceful minded, and you're going to take all the bad animals, wild animals, from you. See, the Ramban says, you don't fight with each other. Why you took my seat? Why you took my position? Why you took my car? Why you took my this? Who are you? Who I am? אומר הרמב"ן, על דעת רבי יהודה שמר מעבירן מן העולם, הוא כפשוטו שלא בוחר בארצם. Because when we are satisfied, there won't be 
bad animals, but then he goes. ואומר כך, כי תהיה ארץ ישראל בעת קיום המצוות כאשר היה העולם בתחילתו קודם חטאו של אדם. When the Mashiach will come, the world will be with, before the sin of Adam and Eve. ואין חיה ורמס ממית אדם. They were animals, they were lions, they were tigers and they were snakes, but they never attacked human beings. כמו שאמרו, אין ארוד ממית אלא החטא ממית. ויש שם רק כתוב, ושיעשע יונק על חור פטן, וכן פרה ודוב תראנה וערי בבוקר כבקר יאכל תבן, כי לא יהיה הטרף בחיות הרעות. The animals were not, were, were never dangerous to human beings and to each other. The sheep used to play next to the snakes, and the, and the tigers And the lions used to play with the cows and the, and the rams and the deer and the... Rak mipne cheto shel adam, because the human beings start to become evil to each other, nigzar alav liot teref leshinehem. Ve'usam ateref teva lahem gam litrof zo et zo. When they became wild, they wild for everything, for animals, for everything. But the essence of the animals is not bad. כידוע, כי בטרפם האדם פעם אחת הוסיפו להיות רעים יותר. וכן אמר כתוב לא תרוב את האדם. והנה בריאתו של עולם נאמר שנתן להם העשב ולאוכלה, השם גבל אין תוהיד the grass and to give the fruits and the vegetable ולכל חיית הארץ ולכל עפה שמה ולכל עומס על אדמה ולכל נפש חיה את יסף ולאוכלה. כי הטבע אשר יושם בהם לעד. ואחר כך למדו הטרף מפני החטא הממית כאשר פירשתי. ועל כן יאמר הכתוב על ימי הגואל היוצא מחטא אישה, חטא רישה את המשיח טיים, שישוב השלום בעולם, the peace is going to come to the world, ויחדל הטרף ורעת הבהמה וכל הרמץ שהיה בתיבון בתחילה, כוונה הייתה בו על חזקיה וכולי. מינינג, what the רמב"ן says? what אליהו אומר is going to do as a preparation? What? How, 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 how? How are we going to bring peace to the world? You take the animal part of us and put aside. Huh? Yet Sarara is not so bad as you think. We make him bad. You understand? What is animal part? What? What is animal part? To desire. To be jealous, to get nervous, to be upset, to be mean, to revenge, to get angry, to think that the world belongs to you, and nobody else, to be egocentric like there is no tomorrow, to want everything. This is what we call the evil in a person. But I don't want, when I take it from him, it's going to be like a lamb. No, I don't want to be still there. Uh, a human being, but to, to, to take all his energy to build and not to destroy. Mm. I'm changing a direction of thinking. This is what the, the process to bring shalom to the world. I don't want you to stop wanting to develop yourself, to, to live in a better place, To, to have a better environment. I want it to continue. But it can be in a good way, not in a bad way. Not on somebody else's account. Okay? So, I don't want to take the essence, I, I don't want the lion not to be a lion anymore. He has to be a lion. But it has to be a lion that doesn't kill people. Eat grass and enjoy it. Less cholesterol. Less, uh, yeah, all those things make a human being perfect. Huh? <coughs> all those things make a human being perfect. This is the whole point of, you know, that's why we have the choices of having these minuses to become better. So if all that's going to be done, the world is not going to be interesting anymore. Oh, 
You are going to let, let's say, let's talk in our level. You understand in our understanding it won't be interesting anymore because if the lion doesn't it doesn't chase after zebra, it doesn't feel that he's made his daily thing. <laughs> but this because of the negative message that he got from the human being. But let's say that you are going to have the feeling that what, whatever you have, you feel happy with this, and you might give to your friend to eat with you too. It means in our world. It means that the idea of be able to accept your friend not less, that is not less important than you, or the needy person. And you're going to see many people around you that even in this world, they still help others, try to make other people's life better. It means it's something which is possible. The only thing, if you take, if you take the uh, negative, egocentric, ego problem from the person, he's going to continue to flourish, but it doesn't have to be on somebody else's account. So I don't ask him not to enjoy the world, not to enjoy his wife and children, but I'm, I will teach him that Let's say he lives, he, let's say he drives Maxima Nissan, and his friend is driving, give me a good name of a car. Bentley. Huh? Bentley. Bentley. He's going to feel good that he has Bentley. He will not think, I'm going to kill him and take a Bentley <laughs> and give the Maxima donation to, to my, for my yield feeling. The idea of uh, and why not to kill the one who drives this Bentley, it will take out of him. But he's going to keep, he's going to drive his, 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 his Maxim. He's going to feel Maxim. Maxim very good in Hebrew. <laughs> he's going to feel very good. No, that's right. Yofi, wonderful. Now you get what I'm saying. We are not taking this from him. He wants to grow up. And what he wants? Huh? No. No. He can, he, can, he can strive to become a better person, but not necessarily to feel bad why he has Bentley and not me. I can take this evil. It doesn't, you see, we connect it together because we are so thinking that because if I don't want to be like him, I won't be. No. You can go forward and want to become a better person and you can live in a better life, but not necessarily. To base it. My gromlolias. My gromlolias. Ah, today, okay, one wonderful thing. Today, because we are so under in the scene, we don't understand that there is a. But, but the other energies. You know, Adam and Chava, at the beginning, they were not dressed, and it never bothered them. It doesn't mean that they didn't have children. It doesn't mean that they didn't live like husband and wife. But when they made a sin, suddenly they have to cover themselves because they have no evil thoughts. You, we, today, we, we, we think that this difference between the sin, uh, the desires, is give you the strive to continue because we live in a perception of sin. But take, take it out. You can continue. You're right, but today most of the jealousies, unfortunately, go to a different direction. First, why him and not me? Then, where, where Hashem? And then, I don't believe in nothing. You know, we go with all these, uh, all the shortcuts to. Why do we need the uh, progressing if it's, uh, you don't need anything else? I mean, everything is open, everything is true. What's the, what's the progress? Is? The Rambam said the world continues. You need a car, too. You need to pay money to for the benzene, for the gas. Everybody going to drive Mazda. Huh? Everybody going to drive Mazda or Maximum. Everybody needs something. He said he was hmm. able to fly even. Why do you need the cars if you're able to fly? <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes you need a car too. If you have to, you have to. The mechanic has to make his living too. No, this is not. You're talking about technicalities over here. I'm talking. I'm talking about the concept over here that there is a way 
which we don't know how, unfortunately, that you're going to progress without the desire and, and, and without jealous on somebody else. Unfortunately, we are so good human beings, we don't understand it. Or you say it's going to be boring, you know, what the... Huh? As the one is going to come to change the uh, change the copper, oh, yeah. it's going to. Will the chicken lay the eggs? After? What? In this kind of environment, yes. <laughs> <laughs> they lay because they have to lay, not because they. Uh... This is so I'm talking about obviously something which is very big, universal. But I, I you know, I like to go to a. Uh, to our personal level, because we have to learn, because until the Mashiach will come, we really, Eliyahu and Avi will come. Let's go one, one step to, to, connect, to connect it to Lela Seder. And why, what is, uh, what is important to us? The, um, do you remember the first Lela Seder in the history? We were not there, maybe our Neshamot, but the first Tel Aseda history, when did it take place, you know? In Egypt. Nachon? Yes or no? Yes. They were sitting on the 14th at night, they made a shashlik, they, made the, they painted the, the mezuzot with the, with the blood, remember? Yes. Of course you remember. And... And... <laughs> And at a certain time, at midnight, Moshe Rabbeinu is telling them, go off, you have to go off, Nachon? Take off. But I want to ask you a question. But I never thought about it until tonight when I was thinking about it. It says, Vigata Lebincha, tell your children about Yitzhak Mitzrayim, about Yam Suf, and about this, about this. What did they tell to their children? Huh? <laughs> what is the mitzvah to tell to your children? What is the mitzvah to tell to your children? If you were there, you were not redeemed. Nobody redeemed nobody. Is, uh, so he talks about the second year I understand. I'm asking a question. What was the message on the first Lela Seder? What were doing over there? They were eating Koban Pesach. Which was the Egyptians' uh, Abadazah? They were afraid. <coughs> so what, is the, what, what did they say to his children? Showed, their, uh, Showed the it was in the Shabbat HaGadol, the 10th of Nisan. But yeah. when they were eating together, and there is Mitzvah, we got a Lebincha. What did they tell them? I said to them. Nigael Bezrat Hashem. We know that once Isaac or Yaakov, they heard that there's going to be a go, uh, the slave, they were already there. That's how they count, right? When, when uh, Moshe, uh, Moshe came and told them that we're going to go out, so they had no choice. They were early out. That's why he says one out of five went out. So those that 20% that were sitting and doing little Pesach, those already were out. So that's, they could talk about it. Even sitting in the Mitzrayim. What are you talking about? They're out from Gulabo. They're in their home. I am sure. Sem to Dunas. They had to. 7 o'clock, they had Korban Pesach. 12 o'clock, they are leaving. Mentally, if they didn't go out. So. Mentally, they still didn't go out. After they went out, they Can I finish? So what did they say? So mentally they had to go out. I know, mentally. What did they say? No, what, is, what, what did they say? Mentally, what did they say? Mentally they went out. That's what they were talking about in Lal Seder? Huh? Katu, there are four children. One of them Chacham, one of them Rasha, one of them Tam, Shana Dali Shol. Chacham Ma'umir, Ma'avodah Lachem, Rasha Ma'umir, Ma'avodah Nachon. And we tell him, tell him we were a slave in Egypt. We, Hashem took us out of Egypt, Nachon. Or we tell to Terasha, if you were in Egypt, you didn't go out from Egypt. Exactly. But you know, it, no, nobody's 80% there. 80% left. Huh? 80% left. 80% died. Yes. Did they go out? So what did they, no. they tell them in Lela Seder? What? What did they tell them? Exactly. What? Exactly what we say, that's what they said. Wow, you are. 
According to Aaron, they told him, my friend, we are leaving, everything will be okay. Next year we're going to ask you about last year. <laughs> no, that's no. not what I said. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you say? What I said is this. They had to go out, their mind had to go out. Once the man went out, they, they, they were out already. Even though their body was still... You're right, you're right. I ask you a different question. Answer me with words. What was the message to the children on Lela Seder, the first one in the history. What did he tell them? We left Egypt. Next year in Jerusalem. Huh? <laughs> Next year in Jerusalem. Yeah. Or New York, whatever. <laughs> no. I, I, I hear it, you're right. He said about the Leteka Vodazara, he put everything. But what did he say in Lela Seder? They freed from Pharaoh. What? They were freed from Pharaoh. Oh, so Malka said they were freed from Pharaoh. At least we are not slaves anymore in Mitzrayim. But you are still in Mitzrayim. But we want, we, we feel that we are free people, yes? Were they talking about the future, maybe? Huh? The future, what's going to happen? Try, we try to say, maybe yes, but it's very difficult because the future, you know, is everybody's going to tell. Uh, I don't know what they're they talking about, is because they didn't know they were doing the commandment of Hashem, and they didn't know what's going to be the outcome of it because mm -hmm. they sent told them to check the. Yeah, well, I don't know. So they don't know what's going to be, so this is probably what was the, they were talking about. I they know what's going to be next. So I cannot speculate what they say because I wasn't there. Maybe you were there. But I know one thing for sure. That everybody, is, my wife says, sitting together. This is a big redemption. <laughs> they have to make, they say on the Korban Pesach, they're making me, I'm with you, you are with me, you are with this, you are with this. They're making all the family together. This is the beginning. This is the beginning of redemption, my friends. Don't look for uh, the redemption of the entire world. Start with your own family. You, your husband, your wife, and children. This is your sitting together and say Hashem, thank you for the past and praying for the future. And that's exactly what I said. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> so I didn't understand. You understand? <laughs> Rabotai, sitting as a normal family is the beginning of redemption. Sometimes we feel that, uh, you know, there is a... Um, uh, I told you last week, and I have to say it again because not everybody was here. I spoke to a, a doctor. He is not religious, very educated person. He started to keep Shabbat and Kashrut. <laughs> And I told him, I told him, wait a minute, you are not religious. When you talk to me about religion, you talk very weird. Oh, why do you keep Shabbat and Kashrut and all these mitzvot? He said, Rabbi Yeshua, in America, if you keep Torah and mitzvot, you are normal. You don't have to be I, 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 not religious, to be normal, you say. You say, you know what does it mean, Shabbat's table with me, me and, my, and my children, you say? If we don't have it, if we didn't have it. Every day was another thing. My children, now, now, now Friday night we're sitting together, Saturday night we're sitting together, no radio, no TV, no telephone, no nothing, just ourselves. I, I save my family. And he doesn't talk religion. He talks about practical, normal relationship between children. He's, he's a very busy man. He say, I was, I'm so glad that God gave me permission to disconnect the phone for 24 hours, the radio, the television, the this, I, I, can, I, can, I can think. I can sit with my children and not every second. Another phone call, another, and, 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 I, and I'm, he say I don't know how far I'm going to be in religion, but one thing I know, I am normal now. <laughs> so for him to be religious is to be normal. Now, in your level, Baruch Hashem, and you're already talking to angels, it's Mamish, you know, it's Ruach HaKodesh. <laughs> but to be religious for him in America is to stay normal. And I say more than this. In our, in our religion, the real redemption starts when husband and wife are, are acting like father and mother and not like another two children in the family. Sometimes when I when I hear the levels of your fights and arguments between each other, I don't know if, the, if I'm listening to your children level arguments or the parents. In order to tell to your son, you have to become a father. Vigata <coughs> Lebincha means be a father now. 
and be a mother now. What's meant to be a father and a mother? Go above all the small things. You are in charge. Your family structure is the only way to make Am Israel alive for the next generation. I don't need now to make the entire world and lion and tigers and, uh, and, and, and sheep and this. This okay. This will live to the Eliyahu and the Mashiach. Let them deal with this. In our level, to bring, Eliyahu will bring Shalom. But you have a mission to bring Shalom into your families. This is if you want to bring the Mashiach. When you come home and your husband is not Mr. Perfect, and your wife is not Mrs. Perfect, and you accept each other as is, and you don't try to rechange the whole set of mind of thinking, and you try to live with each other in harmony, this is what we call when you bring the Mashiach, there's any kra, lela seder. Yechomrim, if 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 this night is okay, it's when you're okay. You lela seder, I call beseder. When you got a pet mark in your family, you you are ready for the Mashiach to come. Eliyahu can come to your family. But if they start to argue, there is a story about there was a couple of people from the from the deserted place. It's called Mukhara and Kishloch. They never celebrated. They were, you know, and they decided when they retired, they want to be religious. So they moved to the city, and they didn't know what, what the Dalla Seder is all about. So she went to the store. Everybody was buying matzot. She bought matzot. They bought chren. She bought chren. They bought uh, lettuce. She bought lettuce. She brought them on the table. Dalla Seder, they didn't know what to do. They were embarrassed to go to somebody else. So we tell to her, look, go to see what the neighbor is doing, and we learn from them. She went over there, he see the neighbor screaming at his wife. Why is no why is why is why screaming, screaming, screaming? She came home. She's afraid to say, maybe tonight they have to scream at each other. But she's little little said that so he's quiet. She's quiet. She said, What did they say? And he started to scream at her. So she told him, if you know why you send me, <laughs> you know it already. Why 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 you send me over there? Because Lela Seder is the night. That there is, if there is a structure of a family of parents and children, and a kind of transmit, tra transferring information from a parents to a child, this is, this is, this we start to walk. We start to walk. There is another shot. As I say, in our generation, that in the Mashiach will come, the children will teach the parents how to make lela seder. It happens a lot in our uh, in our time. The parents don't know how to read. The kids went to Yeshua. The kids sent to their parents. Tell the children. This is another sign of the Mashiach is going to come. Just to uh, to uh, to make another direction in this, and I read a very beautiful. Those of you who like gematriot and value of numbers. The Rasha is telling is telling to the people on the table, who needs it. And we tell him, take off, pull his, pull his, pull his teeth, shinav. So one of the rabbis say, the Hasidim say it like this, Rasha, Begimatria is 570. And Sadiq Begimatria is 204. The difference is 366. 366 Begimatria is a Shinav, it's tooth, it is teeth. So we say when you're going to take the, the Rasha, it's teeth, it's going to become Sadiq. <laughs> it's really Sadiq, but it's just biting, it's a Sadiq which bites. So when you're going to pull the teeth, it's going to become, you take from 570, 366, it's going to become Sadiq. What does it mean? Mazenikraf, what do you tell him? If you were there, you are not redeemed. So the Hasidim say the follow. The 80% were in Egypt didn't come to Egypt, they died over there. The 20% came out. So what do we tell him? If you were there, you were, but you were not redeemed. But because you are here, it's mean you redeem, it's mean you understand. You have inside of you, you have inside of you the potential to become Hoser Bitshuva. <laughs> now today, today there is Baruch Hashem implementing the day. Baruch Hashem, they make a lot of good things today. 
There is another word they say, why every year there is a new Agada Shel Pesach, that the Rasha of last year become Chazer B'Tshuva, we need another Agada for the, for the new one. The other Pshat, that Sadiq became so low, we need another one for the, what is another Pshat? Anyhow, the, uh, what do we say to the, to the Rasha? We say, if you were in Egypt, because you came out, it means you're a part of us. So we hear what you say, but inside you understand that there is really no Rashaim. Why I'm telling all this to you? Because before the Mashiach will come, and Leon will come, fully should come in this month, we have to be ready for this. And the only way to start is to work on your Shlom Bayit issues. To try to make peace in your house. Once I gave a shoe, so one of the students, Rabbi, I think you went one step ahead. Let's make peace with myself too. Sometimes I'm, I cannot find myself. I'm fighting with myself. And um, I think he has a point, but I'm talking about Oh Hashem, we are advanced already, so go to the second level to try to be nice to your friends, to your spouses, and to, uh, to walk on, this, on the word of Shalom. Ma'omer Rashi Ahava. You love a person, you're able to forgive a person. So to bring more love and peace. And you're going to see Ahava hmm? is one. Ahava can make two ones. If you really love a person. Good question. Erva, is there any Erva in how long for portraits is Erva? All over. No, talking about since Mitzrayim they come out. It still continue? Unfortunately, if you're going to see in the desert, a lot of interaction between them and Jewish people. The Zohar Kadosh says that today, in our generations, because of all the Galut and everything, there are Jewish people that descendants from Amalek and Erevav and everything. They're Jewish people, wow. but they have the go in the genes. So um, it's not so easy. One question is three second fathers. Question, second question. <laughs> second question. Three fa fathers that Abraham and Yitzchak and Yaakov, and we cannot say that they didn't have people who converted, who were where they are. They're gone. Nobody knows about them. When you say no and don't know, we don't know. Today, as, as Eliyahu and Avi come and say, you are a Jew, you are a Jew, finished. It doesn't make to make a... But really, it's go very, <coughs> it's, it goes all over. And this interaction between Jews and non-Jews is all over. Okay, well, there is Gula Pratit. Your Gula Pratit, when you're able to fix up your problems. And then you can go to the second one. But first, you know, first to be... Matthias Egamani Leviti, you know. First, your home. Then, you, when you have time, there was one, there was one Hasid, when he, woke, when he was a child, he said, I'm going to make all the world Hoser B'Tshuva. When he grew up, he said, okay, that's my city. After that, he said, that's my village. And then he said, that's my, my family and my children. We became old, he said, let's make myself Hoser <laughs> B'Tshuva. So this is the wrong, the other direction. So you start with your wife and children and family. If you have enough time, everybody's okay, you can go then to your brother and this. But don't start to solve the entire world of the world, right? because it's, it's, this is the Yetzer HaRa. And, uh, and the wife and the husband, first be kind to your spouses, then be to the entire neighborhood. Yes, sir. Last question. Even in Pesach, four questions. So it's... <laughs> Ah, okay, this is... Uh... So, Baruch Hashem, tonight, because um, we have to... Um, we we're changing the time forward, so we're going to... One time we're going to... We have to one time forward, one hour forward, so, and tomorrow everything starts from the news, so um, we're going to finish because it's almost one o'clock now. So basically, you got today two hours of lectures. So <laughs> because you came, it became one o'clock. So take one or three. So we are in the right track. Shabbat Tov and Pesach Samir.